Hi, I'm Kim. And I'm Richard, and we're from the Fitness Warehouse. Hi, this is a Gym Gear M Sport indoor bike. I'm going to show you how to use this safely and effectively. Firstly, we need to set the seat height, okay? It needs to be about hip height, so you stand next to the bike and make sure it's in level with the hip. If you need to alter the seat, you use these yellow clamps here. Turn it once and then that will free the seat to move up and down. Once it hit at hip height, then we can tighten the clamps. We also need to adjust the handlebars, which again, we've got the yellow clamps there, and we can move the seat forward and back, which is this yellow clamp here. Then we need to get onto the back. So pop one foot into the pedal, take it to the bottom, hold the handlebars, and then we can mount the back. One of the most important things is you must tighten the straps before you start pedaling. Once we've got the straps nice and tight, get the feet level, then we need to know whether the seat is far enough forward or back. To do that, get the feet level and we need to make sure that the knee is over the ball of the foot and in this position we're good to go and then we can start cycling. Okay, once you're cycling, when you do need to stop, it's quite important that you use the emergency stop in the centre here and all you need to do is push it down and the legs will stop moving automatically. Next we're going to talk about the display. Use any of the buttons to turn it on. The display will pick up uh, speed, calories, range of motion and if you're wearing a heart rate strap it will pick up your heart rate as well. It will only pick the display up when you start cycling. That's when it will show your repetitions per minute uh, and all the other bits of information that you can see on the screen. Once you're cycling, to alter the resistance you turn this yellow dial clockwise or anti-clockwise and that will increase or decrease the resistance. Part of the maintenance is to check that all the feet are level. Uh, if you find that the bike's wobbly, all you need to do is turn the feet one way or the other to ensure that the bike is nice and secure. The other thing that you need to check uh, is to make sure that the clamps uh, are nice and secure. Um, so when you unscrew them to alter any of the seats, um, either forward or back, once you tighten the clamps, you need to make sure that they are fully functional and when they do clamp, that all the positions are nice and tight and secure. Another feature of the clamps, when you're cycling, sometimes that these actually catch the back of your leg when you're in the cycling motion. To move these, just pull the clamp out, turn it away from the body, so you've got a comfortable cycling action. In terms of cleaning maintenance, you need to wipe the whole back down and also you need to remove the handlebars and the seat once a month just by loosening them fully, taking them out, cleaning all the silver sections and then all you need to do is pop them back in and then clamp them up.